Now we need to put on the clamps for the, the timing belt. Use two inch screws. Now we're going to put the motors in. We're going to start with the Z axis. I put the coupling, the quarter inch coupling on the motor. And all I need to do, I've, I have the spider in here, which is this piece. I'm going to put the coupling over the spider. You can see how it fits. And you can see that it's also a little high. This whole piece can actually move down until it seats sits itself but you don't want to you don't want it to be pressed up against it so now that it's at the right height we can bring these up and then we can tighten these down these should be tightened also and now we're going to put the screws and nuts and washers on the motor. So you just get a one inch number eight screw. And then add a washer and a nut on the bottom. Insert this timing belt pulley, the drive pulley, onto the shaft of the, of the motor and tighten this down and then attach it to this back piece. The next task is to assemble an idler pulley and install it on the motor mount plate. Use a 5 16 inch screw and add three bearings that have a 5 16 inch inside diameter and then add one washer. Loosen these because we need to get this screw inside. I'm just going to pull this out. You need to get this stuff in here. On the y-axis, it's going to be flat up. And when you're starting it, just give it, give it a little bit um, of slack on the bottom, not much, and tighten these down. And you want to try to get it generally in the right place to be aligned with the, 
I need to go a little bit to the right. Okay. You want to try to align it with the um, with the pulley. Starts on the top, and you're gonna string it through. So once you get it around the around the drive pulley, you take it down under the bearing, over and then under the bearing. Just generally get it in the right place and then you can position it after you get the, the belt in there. Try to get this as aligned as possible. So um, decide where you want to put it within this, this area. And you want to try to pull it as hard as you can. This is trying to tension, tension it as much as you can. So now you want to um, tighten this so it'll tension this a little bit more. Now it's a lot more tensioned, which is very good. This is about as much tension as you want. The next step would be easier if you took the, the machine and you put it on one end. Put this motor. I'm going to attach it here. You need to attach the drive pulley. Same thing goes with this. On the back, you're going to use a coupling. So you get a coupling on the back of the shaft, on the on the on the rear shaft. That's what's wrong with this camera. Is you can't zoom while you're filming, and the other one you can. Mm -hmm. I think I'll have to jump. to put on the, the rear shaft to the other side. All right, you're gonna have a shaft and we're gonna, you're gonna put a, a coupling on the shaft that's gonna couple up to the, the rear shaft of the motor. You'll wanna put a collar, a small collar on the shaft. Then you will put it through this hole. You're gonna add a quarter inch bearing it into this hole. Use one of these uh, spiders into the coupling. Get the other coupling and put it onto the shaft. Take this collar and put it up against the board. Not too, um, not too tight. Just loosen, loose, loosely. Make it really tight. Now make sure it can still spin. It can still spin. Attach your drive pulley onto the shaft. Three bearings on this side and then three bearings on the other side. Add the timing belt on both sides of the x-axis with the teeth of the belt facing up.